As far as representing the people are concerned, I think there were two issues. One uh, was brought up by Tzu Rui about um, uh, the cabinet imposing its views, etc. And the other one was on the question of um, whether we are able to express dissent and disagreement within the party and how we reach out. Let me address this in this way. First of all, in the PAP, we have a system which is also a system in many other countries called the party whip. The party whip determines which way you go. Now, you join a party just as members of the opposition join their respective parties. You have your own views, but at the end of the day, you join a party for a particular purpose, and that purpose is to represent that party, stand for that party, and the values that that party stands for. So in terms of within the party, do we get to express our dissent a lot of the time. A lot of the time we are express our dissent, we are engaged by cabinet, by ministers, and MPs express their disagreement and dissent on many, many issues. But when it comes to party solidarity, and that is where the whip comes in, then you have to represent the party. You will also know that a lot of the time, and you would have seen this in the recent budget debates, PAP MPs also backbenchers speak out against certain policies. We express views on certain policies. We may not we may disagree with the we, we may agree with the overall policy, but we may disagree with certain facets of the policy. And we express those views. But because we have a system where we have a party whip, and because you join the party and you are a member of that party and you've sworn an allegiance to that party, therefore you must support the party when it goes. And the same thing goes, I believe, in, in the opposition parties as well. So in that respect, yes, we do get to express our dissent and our disagreement with many, many policies, and sometimes very vigorously. Um, but at the end of the day, you are a member of the party that you join, and you stand by that party. Well, the final point was about uh, whether... Um PAP MPs can adequately represent um, alternative views um, or can disagree with the government. I think you know this is this is rubbish. You need uh, opposition MPs in Parliament if we are to get any genuine political competition and um, be um, competition of ideas, which leads to better policies. So, um, so uh, you know, we we have to have plurality, and we have to have uh, multi-party uh, democracy as a stage towards true two-party democracy, as you find in other advanced countries. <laughs>